not like you or me. So close. We just something missing. Here you go again. Stop looking at other girls. Am I dead? Did these beautiful angels come for me? Whoa. That is one hot chick. Huh? You're planning on fighting in that getup? <laughs> I don't know about that. from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. We've been waiting for you to show. Hey, hands to yourself! That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Go to your room and wait. Quietly. Go to your room and wait. Quietly. Gas. Come on. Damn it. Cloud. I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. No! Not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But 
I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Now ladies, listen up! I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin! Head out the door to the left and up the stairs! Come on ladies, let's hustle! Alright guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? But let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! I've got it! Today's bride to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you! I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the Big Bone Girl! <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it! Oh yeah! 
The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. We. Okay! <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, babies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> What the hell? Get down! Don't be stupid! Good job, Eric! It was nothing compared to you! Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? to do that one of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners sorry but your boys had to learn some manners too what the cloud your clothes Up to. We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Yeah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. But 
Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Hmm. Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> it was the Director of Public Security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is going to look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? When they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs>to get to Sector 7. Yeah. Uh, that bastard!
Do your thing.
you think it lives down here, or...? It was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm. Hmm? Uh, uh, Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. 